Florida, the Sunshine State, is famous for its beautiful beaches, vibrant cities, and unfortunately, its susceptibility to hurricanes. Year after year, Florida faces the brunt of these powerful storms, earning it the nickname Hurricane Alley. But what makes Florida such a magnet for these devastating natural disasters? The answer lies in a confluence of geographical and climatic factors that make Florida particularly vulnerable. From its location in a hurricane-prone basin to its tropical climate and unique peninsular shape, Florida possesses the perfect combination to be a prime target for hurricanes. This video will investigate the reasons behind Florida's vulnerability to hurricanes, examining the geographical, climatic, and historical factors that contribute to its reputation as a hurricane capital. So, welcome to another video from the channel, The Knowledge Board. Today, we'll explore the science behind hurricane formation and the specific elements that make Florida such a frequent target. Finally, we'll look at how Floridians have adapted to this reality, implementing measures to mitigate the impact of these powerful storms and build resilience in the face of recurring threats. Understanding hurricane risk in Florida is crucial not only for residents, but also for anyone visiting or considering moving to this beautiful yet vulnerable state. Florida's geographical location plays a significant role in its susceptibility to hurricanes. Situated in the southeastern United States, Florida juts out into the Atlantic Ocean, bordered by the Gulf of Mexico to the west. This precarious position places Florida directly in the path of hurricanes developing in the Atlantic Basin, making it a prime target for these powerful storms. The Atlantic Hurricane Basin, which stretches from the coast of Africa to the Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico, is one of the most active hurricane basins in the world. Hurricanes form over warm ocean waters, fueled by heat and moisture rising from the sea. The warm waters of the Atlantic, especially during hurricane season, provide an ideal breeding ground for these storms. Florida's location within this active hurricane basin coupled with its extensive coastline stretching over 1,200 miles, means that a significant portion of the state is exposed to the open ocean. Unlike inland areas, coastal regions bear the full brunt of a hurricane's force, experiencing strong winds, storm surges, and heavy rainfall. Florida's position at the confluence of the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico further exacerbates its vulnerability. This unique geographical feature means that the state can be impacted by hurricanes developing in either body of water, increasing the likelihood of a direct hit. Beyond its geographical location, Florida's climate provides the perfect ingredients for hurricane development and intensification. The state's tropical climate, characterized by warm temperatures and high humidity, creates an environment conducive to the formation and strengthening of these powerful storms. Warm ocean water is the primary fuel source for hurricanes. When ocean temperatures reach 26 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, or higher, heat and moisture from the water rise into the atmosphere, creating an area of low pressure. The waters surrounding Florida, especially during the summer and fall months, consistently reach these critical temperatures, providing ample fuel for hurricane development. The high humidity levels characteristic of Florida's climate also play a crucial role. Warm, humid air is lighter than dry air, and as it rises from the ocean's surface, it creates an updraft, pulling more air into the developing storm system. This cycle of rising warm, Moist air and converging winds at the surface contributes to the formation of the hurricane's characteristic spiral structure. The combination of warm ocean waters and high humidity creates a volatile atmospheric environment that can quickly transform a tropical disturbance into a powerful hurricane. As these storms move over Florida's warm waters, they can intensify rapidly, drawing energy from the heat and moisture below. This process, known as rapid intensification, can make hurricanes even more dangerous as they can strengthen quickly and unexpectedly, leaving coastal communities with less time to prepare. 
Hurricane season, a time of preparation and anxiety. For Floridians, the period from June 1st to November 30th marks a time of heightened awareness and preparation. This six-month period, known as hurricane season, is when the Atlantic Basin experiences the most favorable conditions for hurricane development. As hurricane season approaches, Floridians go through a familiar routine of preparation. Residents stock up on essential supplies, including water, non-perishable food, batteries, and first aid kits. The arrival of hurricane season brings with it a mix of anxiety and resignation. For many Floridians, the memories of past storms and the potential for future devastation are ever-present. The Shape of Vulnerability – Florida's Exposed Peninsula Florida's unique geographical shape further contributes to its vulnerability to hurricanes. As a long, narrow peninsula surrounded by water on three sides, Florida has an extensive coastline and a relatively small inland area. This shape makes the state highly exposed to the impacts of hurricanes, particularly storm surge and high winds. Storm surge, the abnormal rise in sea level caused by a hurricane's powerful winds pushing water towards the shore, is one of the deadliest and most destructive hazards associated with these storms. Florida's low-lying coastal areas, combined with its extensive coastline, make it particularly susceptible to storm surge flooding. Even a relatively weak hurricane can generate significant storm surge, inundating coastal communities and causing widespread damage. Florida's peninsular shape means that hurricanes can impact a larger portion of the state. Unlike a more compact landmass, Florida's long and narrow shape allows hurricanes to make landfall and potentially traverse hundreds of miles inland, affecting communities far from the coast. Additionally, Florida's peninsular shape can lead to a phenomenon known as the whiplash effect. As a hurricane approaches the Florida coast, the storm's counterclockwise rotation can cause water to pile up in the Gulf of Mexico or the Atlantic Ocean. When the hurricane makes landfall, this piled up water is driven ashore as a powerful surge, often with devastating consequences. Looking ahead, the question remains, how will Florida adapt to the growing threat of hurricanes? The state's unique geography and climate make it a prime target for these powerful storms. But resilience and innovation offer hope. Preparation and infrastructure. Over the years, Floridians have become experts in hurricane preparedness. Building codes have been strengthened, requiring structures to withstand high winds and flooding. Communities have invested in improved drainage systems and advanced warning technologies, ensuring residents have ample time to evacuate if needed. Education and engagement. Adaptation goes beyond infrastructure. Community education and engagement are crucial. Schools and local organizations conduct regular drills and workshops, teaching residents how to protect their homes and families. Social media and mobile apps provide real-time updates, making information more accessible than ever before. Innovation and resilience. Moreover, scientists and researchers are constantly studying hurricane patterns and impacts, developing new models to predict and mitigate damage. Innovations in climate science and technology are paving the way for smarter and more resilient communities. Despite the challenges, the spirit of Florida remains unbroken. The state's response to hurricanes is a testament to human ingenuity and solidarity. From coastal towns to inland cities, Floridians are united in their commitment to weathering the storms and emerging stronger. So as we face an uncertain future, one thing is certain. Florida will continue to adapt, innovate, and thrive in the face of adversity. The lessons learned today will shape a safer and more resilient tomorrow for generations to come. Florida is investing in new technologies and strategies to confront future challenges, ensuring that communities are more prepared than ever before. Working alongside community leaders and experts, the state is developing innovative plans to protect its citizens and infrastructure. Advanced weather prediction systems and smart city initiatives are being implemented to enhance resilience and disaster response. 
the active participation of residents in community drills and the readiness of emergency response teams are paramount to ensuring everyone's safety. Unity and collaboration among Florida's diverse communities are essential to overcoming the challenges of hurricanes and securing a safer future for all. Despite preventative measures, hurricanes will remain a part of life in Florida. If you've ever experienced a hurricane or are curious about how people cope with these storms, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating content about nature and its phenomena.